There are some things in life that are just downright annoying. People that turn up late, burnt toast, running out of toilet paper, and the fact that the Honda S2000 is a listless lump of metal until you hit 7,000 RPM. You see, at law-abiding speeds, the Honda's engine feels noticeable. Below 7,000 RPM, it actually feels, well, not like an MX-5. Those thrills that it promises really don't materialise. And while the engine does sound fantastic, it seems a pity that Honda's engineers haven't paid closer attention to the chassis and the steering. You can't put a finger on any particular fault. It's just that the whole dynamic performance leaves you a little wanting and wondering exactly what could have been. The first thing you notice about the interior is this Formula One style instrument panel that goes up to 9,000 revs. Apart from that, it's really a very Spartan affair in here. But that's OK, because it means nothing gets in the way of the driving, which is what this car is all about. These snazzy red seats hold you in nice and tight. And there's a good deep seating position that makes you feel as if you're in a cockpit. That's enhanced by the high sides to the doors, the steering wheel, and this lovely little button that helps you start the engine. The hood is triggered by the flick of a button, and six seconds is all it takes to raise or drop. Perfect for our British summertime. The S2000 was born out of the SSM concept that was unveiled at the 95 Tokyo Motor Show and it's truly stunning with its long bonnet and sharp line styling. A fitting birthday present from Honda to itself.